Where is Jaw? Are we having fun yet? All right, guys. So we're talking about a very serious topic today. We need a Ja Morant. We really, really need a Ja Morant. Now, don't get me wrong. I love our guys, okay? I love how the team is playing overall as far as the, their tenacity level, the playing together. They're not pointing any fingers when they lose. I, I love it. I love all of it, okay? I love the coaching. I know people get onto pop nowadays, but it's just because we're losing, okay? Pop is still the same pop. It's, it's, it's just personnel is the only difference. But with that being said, yeah, I, I, I'm just going to be real. We need a job. Now, before we talk about that really quickly, um, we will be doing another, 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 oh my God, can I talk? Another, what, 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 huh? Okay, all right, guys, that's it, that's the video. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be doing another uh, giveaway. Uh, this is a Tim Duncan plaque, and if you want to enter it, all you have to do is be a Patreon YouTube member, but we're doing something a little different, okay? Um, instead of it just being random and you just randomly win, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is at the end of the month, last Friday of the month, I am going to host a quiz, a, a nice little trivia, a Spurs trivia for people that are Patreon and YouTube members, and this will be the prize for the winner. So that's how we'll do it. It'll be way more fair. That way, no one feels like they're cheated every month. But if you want to support the channel anyway, you can still do that. Thanks, guys. I love you. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So, whoo, we really do need our own Ja Morant. So if you look in Ja's stats, um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I keep up with the Memphis Grizzlies, obviously because they're in the division. And another reason is because I am from Memphis. Okay, I'm, I'm from Memphis. And I am a big fan of Ja Morant, to say the least. But when it comes to the Memphis Grizzlies, obviously we've had our scruffles, okay? We've had our disagreements in the past. Obviously the Memphis Grizzlies, I won't go into this because I did it in another video, but they, they, they keep coming at us, okay? They keep coming at us every time they beat us. Um, but they do it with other teams as well. But when it comes to the Memphis Grizzlies, they were, I would say, in a particular, you know, same spot we were at. Like, if you look at their history here, now I won't go into all the trades and everything that they've, you know, done, but I will say that overall they do have good management, like really good management now. Um, but if you look at the Memphis Grizzlies' short history, all right, and we're not going to go back too far, but they had this, th this part of their history where it's just very mediocre, Okay, very mediocre. Now, at this point, we were winning a lot of games. That was the whole Kawhi Leonard situation, but they were very medi mediocre. And as you can see, they end up being the 14th seed and then the 12th seed. And as soon as they got John Morant, things started to improve. They went ninth to eighth to third. And that is very impressive. And what's even more impressive is if you look at John Morant's stats, his second year in the league. He was averaging 19 points. Now, he is a lottery pick, okay? He is a lottery pick, and we don't get a lot of those because we've been so successful over the years. But he is a lottery pick, but it is very impressive for a player just going into his second year to average 32 minutes, 33 minutes, really, a game, and then average 19 points on top of that. And now he's scoring even more to 26 points. But it's very, very, very impressive. Like, we, we would die to have a player at this point average over 20 points a game. But unfortunately, that we don't have that right now. And we're hoping that Josh Primo can become that. But I would really love for us to go into this next draft and get our own Ja Morant. Now, not necessarily a guard, obviously, but I just mean star power. I think Josh Primo will become a star. Devin Fazell has potential, okay? I, I won't jump on it. He has potential. But I really do believe Josh Primo will. But here's the thing between the Memphis Grizzlies and the Spurs, there's kind of this mutual respect. Like, I know that we joke around over here about the Memphis Grizzlies all the time, but there is a mutual respect between the Spurs and the Memphis Grizzlies. And I think some of that respect goes back to 2011 when they battled so hard against us. Even though we had more talent, we were a little injured, but we had more talent. They still overcame us. And not only that, I feel like for the most part, as far as the Memphis Grizzlies players, they're, they're usually class acts. I mean, we kind of have that in common. One thing that I want to point out, and it might be kind of jokes here, but I'm kind of not joking. Um, if you're not a Memphis Grizzlies fan and you're just a casual, how many of these players do you really know? Now, I know that I'm primarily a Spurs channel, but if you're not a Spurs fan, do you really think people know who these players are? Like, let's, let's just be real with each other. I know sometimes we're, we're in our own little bubble, okay? But they don't know who these players are. There's a lot of no names. But one thing that they do have in common is that 
both of our groups play with a lot of heart and both of our groups have some type of chemistry i mean we're not winning a lot but i think a lot of that is due to a lot of new players on the team um you taking on way bigger roles than you had to the season before and the memphis grizzlies did a good job of building up to this but let's be real you don't know who these players are like you know jaron jackson you know Ja morant you know steven adams right you know kyle anderson that's only because we know kyle anderson and i think a lot of spurs fans might hate dylan brooks so yeah dylan brooks is there but like come on bro the anthony melton you don't know who he is y Yavis, you don't come on tyrell terry lie go ahead Go into the comments and tell me you know who Tyrell Terry is. Tell, tell me you know who Killian Tilly is. You don't. You don't know who Killian Tilly is, okay? You don't know who Santi Aldama is. You don't. Shut up. Stop lying. You don't. And it's the same thing with us, too. We're in our own little bubble, but you don't know. A lot of people don't know who these players are. They don't know Jock Lindell. They, they vaguely know Derek White because he dunked on Millsap that one time in the playoff. But overall, people don't know our players. But we do get the right type of people for our group and all of these guys play hard obviously they know Doug McDermott but all of these guys play hard all of them play together and they don't point fingers and that's one thing I'll say about the Memphis Grizzlies and that's why I can make a comparison or at least I like to make a comparison between us and the Memphis Grizzlies another thing I want to add too even though Brian Wright gets a lot of heat I will say that their management and our management really good managements like I I, I cannot complain too much about uh, the San Antonio Spurs over the last few years like obviously the only hiccup or failure we've had is Lucas Samanich and you know that was RC's guy but that was it's kind of it other than that I mean we've been kind of you know these some hitters I mean look at how many players on our team alone that we drafted that's pretty impressive you got you got Keldon Johnson Trey Jones uh Josh Primo Devin Fassell Lonnie Walker DeJounte Murray Derek White that is not normal guys it is not normal to have that in, in Joe Weezy. It is not normal to have that many players drafted with your team and remain with the team as long as they have. It, it just, it, it rarely happens. But these are NBA players. It, it's not like any of these players off the Spurs, they would get sent straight to the G League. Not necessarily. Any of these guys could succeed. Even if Lonnie Walker's gone, he would succeed with another team, I think. So overall, we did a great job with management with so little that we had with us not getting lottery picks but i think that our season is going to be this season that the memphis grizzlies had this this 27 28 season and you know seasons after that just before they got job Morant. so hopefully this season right here is enough for us to propel ourselves into that top three pick and get us a job Morant. a lot of I, I knew this personally a lot of memphis grizzly fans were pretty shocked that they even got as high as a pick for john Morant um with this record they they was not expecting that but hopefully we can we we can get into that category in which we can get a star quickly because i do not believe that we're going to be getting a star through any type of free agency it it hasn't worked thus far anyways and i don't think we'll necessarily get it with trades so this is the best way for us to go about it and we get the guy that we want we get a guy that's loyal uh minus Kawhi. but other than that yeah so look guys let me know what you think in the comments um, I really do believe this though. I think we need our own jaw and hopefully we can get a jaw. So man, uh, where's jaw? I don't know. That was, that was cringy. I'm not Dave Chappelle. He's, he's funny. He's a funny dude. That last special was strange, but he's, a, he's, he's OG. All right. I'll give it to you guys later, man. Until next time. Deuces.